has a rare elite ability to pull a team out and right the ship. And when you have that, that I, I, that's just, I think that's just, it's God given and you just either have it or don't. And he has that. And that's what I, that's one of the many qualities I think makes him an elite coach. That was Brad Holmes talking about Dan Campbell, you know, and just um, we don't have to spend a ton of time on this, guys. But, you know, can you um, just go back to one and six and some of the conversations we were having about Dan Campbell? I mean, idiot, is he going to make it through the season? Can you yeah. believe it? Uh, yep. Now he's just one of the elite coaches in the NFL. I mean, I don't want to go that far, but he's he's one of the better coaches in the yeah. NFL. Seriously, yeah, he's one of the better coaches. I mean, you look what he did. You know, saying from the beginning of the season one and six to how they finished eight and two, uh, just a tremendous turnaround. You got the team to buy into him. He has the offensive coordinator right, defensive coordinator seems to be right, but we know that he needs more players, so I'm going to give Aaron Glenn the benefit of the doubt and say that he is the right guy for the job. They just need to get more players, which this draft and this free agency is going to present. Dan Campbell has done a tremendous job. Like I, I think that when you can keep your identity in place, you talk about Jim Harbaugh, like Jim Harbaugh's identity is all over Michigan. It's what he started with. It's what he's wanted to be. It's his identity at Stanford. It's his identity with the San Francisco 49ers. It's the identity that his, um, I mean, his, um, his uh, his his former coach mm -hmm. and the guy he aspires to be, Bo Schimberger, it's what he put in place. Same thing with Dan Campbell. He said we want guys to fight, we want guys to care, we want guys to play as a team, we want guys to brothers, we want guys that are accountable. We want guys that want to be here. Well, everything that he wants is what the Detroit Lions have shown us in the second half of the season. So hats off to Dan Campbell moving into his third year. You know, I I, I cannot say that odds he won't be the odds on favorite to be coach of the year next year.